Hello and welcome to my live coding sessions where I write a front-end for my project job manager. So as time goes by, I do some progress at my project. I do not have too much time, but anyway, let's quickly show you my project. So this is my project. It consists uh, a model. Actually, I have one model user and uh, two enumeration classes. And then I have templates. And in the templates, I have actually one formula, one form for registration. And here in the static, I have just mockup, mockup files. Before I will show you any deeper, as I said earlier, I'm trying to develop my project through TDD. So let me just quickly show you my user model test. And funny thing, uh, I'm running uh, my Eclipse uh, with OpenJDK 12. So pretty fresh, but I hope it works. Run the test. And let's just this is simple uh, model model test. Some people say you don't need to do that, but I think I rather prefer uh, to have some sort of a yeah, coverage of my model, not too deep, but still some coverage. And as you can clearly see, it's all green, so all test passing through. Then one more interesting stuff which has something to do with the spring boot and first of all here is my registration controller test and what you need to understand about uni unit testing in spring boot it kind of very different from the java se programming style but in java Actually, in Spring Boot framework, you need to use a mock MVC. Uh, this is one of the way how to do the test. Basically, using this uh, class, I kind of mock real Spring Boot application server. And as, as, as far as I know, Spring Boot use Tomcat as container and then here runs it but in this case it's not like real environment so and what actually this test does uh, i have here a pattern rec new user and i expect that this request will be successful that i give to 100 to to 102 actually and i will get the expected view so let me just run it run let me again so i don't need this i can actually apply the stuff so this is basically use j unit 5 but i did find out uh, that j unit 5 is not very well supported in spring boot currently at at the time of recording it is uh, 26 april of 2019 so maybe in the late in the future it is will be supported like even better so all test i did run i did run this test and it passed so i can actually see that and runner is junit5 so basically i did make sure that it it works pretty well and what i need to do next i have written another tests for static content and basically here is the case where i need to use junit4 for this kind of tests and what i'm checking I'm checking that I can access static content 
from the for my application server so when I later will use JavaScript uh, CSS JPEG images it should be accessible when the application running and this test reassure if somebody mess up the structure of the project it will fail but let me just quickly run it It, and you see this actually need a spring boot environment to make sure uh, to to be able to test those tests and you clearly see all content is okay so it's pretty fine with me and when i actually run my maven pom run as maven test all tests will be executed I'm using la latest uh, Maven, I, don't know, I think 1.6, and so basically it runs all of my tests. Now in random order, Chainit run runs the tests always in random order, and all tests are passing. So pretty cool, and how it actually will look like when i run my current application now before i start my application server i need to show you some f some stuff of ui i'm not so big into the front end currently for my project and where is my template here's my template so basically it's a table which consists of different kind of input fields and I through the time leaf templating engine I'm accessing my my uh, user model entity and this get populated with some data so basically it looks like this I start the application run a spring boot app the spring boot app starts It's running and now I just can let me just quickly copy the path mm, let me think ah, it's, uh, I need controller sorry 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 and uh, registration controller and here we go with the controller window show you web browser I, I need web browser turn web browser so now i have to provide your local host 8080 and then registration user oh 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 and what just happened <laughs> basically i think i need to open another another o browser let me just quickly check it now it's now it's working it can be uh, so I got this stuff and all the stuff which you see here this populated stuff it's all from my entity class so basically I can yeah you see it it actually have default features so here i can pick my stuff capture i need still to think about capture but let me just quickly figure out why i have problems with accessing from the default um ah because let me just do it direct I think it was a problem with the configuration because it's freshly installed Eclipse. Let me just quickly do it again. Maybe some minor minor issue localhost. When I access localhost 8080. 
Yeah, I think it's a manner it's an issue with the browser. Um because when I access it through Chrome HTTP HTTP localhost eighty eighty I get the error page, this is okay. So it should be possible that I get the same stuff. Normally I don't use default uh, browser in Eclipse. Yeah. I forgot to to do the HTTP. So basically same thing in Eclipse. And still this uh, this module, uh, I mean this form is not complete because I need to add a capture. Capture is external service which I need to include into my logic and when I click submit registration I need to analyze but I did not uh, implement this controller for the add new user and for the add new user I think this will be definitely it will basically I should think about so it basically will be another method in the registration controller tests so still a lot of things to do but you clearly see that it is possible to write such thing oh, I need to write here rec new user rec new user and then and then I just need to be able to beautify make it beautiful but this will be pretty later in the project what I wanted to show you actually very important stuff if you structure your project let me stop my server run you need to to need to be to make sure that all of your controller and application main class application are in the package which have following structure com point and then the name of your project and then the function of, of, of the package only then it will work with the time leaf templatic engine and I it was for me quite puzzling why it did not work for me I, I actually <laughs> spent one day to figure it out because it, no it was nowhere stated that I need to use such uh, common thing with packages still a lot of things to do and that's it for this small 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 live coding session next story which I think to implement so let me just quickly refresh what was the first story add new user sign in he or she must provide date for the registration completion okay so it's even worse as I thought I did not yet uh, fully implemented the story it's still kind of half implemented but I think I will do the story number three which is user should not be allowed to type invalid data to input field check if already the inserted data available in the system then you need to reject the data if the data already in the system you can read it so I say following next time of my coding session I will work on the validation I will write tests for the validation so that what user inputs it can have only two things of stuff user can type valid data it's okay and user can type invalid data which is not okay in both cases I need to have some implementation and after all of this when the all data was validated it still need to be checked by the capture I mean 
I need to check additional service like capture and if I found out how to work with capture I will integrate into this registration formula and make sure that after the data was validated and the capture was validated the form can be submitted and the data can be populated in my entity class so I will before I think I should uh, end the session but till the till the next time thank you all